guys, Mark the Landlock Surfer here. And today we're lucky to have this empty skate park. So I'm gonna walk you through some of the steps you can learn to do some of the most popular maneuvers in surf skating that are all front side. So we're gonna lead up to this, beginning with just the front side carve. We're gonna turn that into a snap. From there, we're gonna learn how to do a bird slide. And then finally, the sim because the movements are similar, we're gonna go and do a layback. And with some practice, you can build your way up to doing all of those. I'll walk you through the steps. So we're gonna be doing this on flat ramps today. This is a really easy way to learn before you try to do it on a quarter pipe. This is just a flat bank. It makes sure that when you do your snap, you do your bird slide, you do your layback, you're coming back down, but you're coming back down at a consistent speed versus a quarter pipe where the speeds can differ depending on where you are in the transition. So the first step is just getting comfortable with the front side carve. If you've already watched my bowl tutorial, you'll have a little bit of an idea of how to do that. But essentially we're just coming up the ramp. We're gonna be unweighting. So we're gonna get low as we approach. We're gonna unweight as we go up. And we're gonna be rotating our body, looking over the shoulder so you can spot where you wanna come out. If you haven't already seen it, it's a good thing to watch my video on how to do slides on the surf skate because it'll show you how to shift your weight and use unweighting to get your slides really moving strongly. So a key to that is trying to get your front foot to the point where it's over your front trucks so that you can kind of unweight those back wheels as they're sliding around. Now for doing front side snaps, laybacks, and birch slides to really get lots of leverage, what I like to do is have my heel hanging over the edge. So it's easy to do on the whitetail whale shark. You see it's got that tapered in um, back deck tail. So that really helps because when you can get your foot right over the edge, you can use that to get extra leverage in your slide rather than having to push down from the top, which is adding weight. This helps you unweight and get extra leverage in your push. If you have a regular deck that's wider, say something like this, you just have to adjust your foot positioning when you're approaching. So just kind of scooch it back a little bit so you can feel your foot hanging over. So when it's time to start trying a snap, when you're at the apex of your front side carve, you're just gonna give it a really hard push with your back foot, just like that. At the same time as you're really aggressively swinging your upper body and chest around. So you initiate with your upper body, you're gonna swing your head, arms, chest, fast towards coming back down the ramp, while at the same time, giving a push out to initiate the back wheels sliding out, kind of like the fins breaking loose in a snap on surfing. So when you're ready to start getting into doing snaps, one important thing is to pay attention to my upper body positioning. Because when I initiate that snap, it's important that I am leaning back into the ramp. So if my body position is like this, when I try to snap, I'm just gonna fall forward. It's important that you're leaning backwards. So when I actually do it, you'll see and pay attention to my upper body. In this one, I want you to pay attention to what my upper body is doing because as my back foot is pushing out on that slide, you're going to see my upper body, my chest, my head and shoulders are going to do a quick motion like that to come around. You'll notice that I twist my upper body really fast and violently to start the snap, but then I'll quickly halt it and my head will actually be looking backwards towards the top of the ramp. So that one, it adds a little bit of style, but it also helps prevent you from over-rotating when you do a snap. So that's going to stop you from sliding right out. 
Once you've got your front side snaps nailed, the next step from there is to learn front side bird slides. So the motion is kind of similar because you're approaching, you're turning front side, you're getting into a slide. The difference with the bird slide is you're leaning a lot more so you can actually get your front hand down planted on the ground as you're committing that slide. So it's a little bit different in how we set up because we wanna have our body weight way lower so that we're low enough to actually get our hand on the ground. But otherwise, there's gonna be similarities and you'll learn how to progress. To learn the front side bird slide, the first thing you're gonna to need to do is to be able to get low enough to get your hand on the ground. So I want you to practice just doing a front side carve but getting really low and getting into the tuck knee position. So the tuck knee position is when your back knee comes down, you get your foot almost on its side, and this knee comes down in front of your board. So getting low down like that, and getting into your carve. The next thing from there is to try doing your carve, getting down that low, and actually touching your back hand on the ground. I'll show you what that looks like. Once you have those front side carves down nice and low where you can actually drag your front hand behind you on the ground, the next step is to go at it with a little bit more speed so you can get higher up the ramp and you're going to almost let your board go past you and you're going to lean backwards so you can get your hand down while your board's going to go out with your legs up ahead of you. So it's going to feel a little bit uncomfortable at first because you kind of it's a motion you feel sort of like you're falling backwards but the thing is you're going up so you're going into a situation that's pretty safe because you're losing your momentum going uphill so you're going to go up you're going to let the board come out ahead of you as you fall back and then with your feet you're doing the motion that you learned on the snap to kind of push it to get it initiating the slide and coming around let me show you what it looks like When you approach for your bird slide, you're going to be crouching and getting low so that you can reach that front hand down on the ground. You can see my legs are already getting out ahead of me. I'm breaking into my slide and I'm rotating my whole body around with the board. I'm using my hand as a pivot point, continuing to turn my head, turn my body, and just let the wheels do the work. Once the board gets back down to where your hand is, you kind of lift your body up, push yourself off, and ride away. All right, guys, from there, the hardest of the three, in my opinion, is the layback. So learn your snaps, learn your bird slides, and then you can start working on the layback. Now, the layback is kind of the opposite of a bird slide, but in my opinion, it sort of combines both the front side snap and the front side bird slide. Because the way I approach it is you pretty much start it the same way as you would with a snap. So the same motions we went through with learning those front side snaps. The only difference is, as you're getting through most of your snap, you're still pushing it, and then you start to lay back. So you're going to lean all the way back into the ramp to the point that your back hand is touching the ground. So whereas with the birch slide, you're turning like this, and you're putting this hand down. With the layback, you're turning your body like this in the slide, and then going down like that. Now it's really important with the layback, both for style and for function, is that as you get this hand down, your other hand is kind of counter twisting. So you'll see when laybacks are well executed, the other hand is up in the air like this. So you're gonna twist, you're gonna lay back, and make sure this hand is your counterbalance. That's gonna help you be able to leverage yourself back up too. It takes a really strong twisting motion. See here, I under-rotated and I didn't get my other hand up right. Get a really work hard to get the twist around and drop back seamlessly. That one was under-rotated too. This one was a little bit better. These actually work better on a quarter pipe, something steeper. To get them really stretched out and extended, a steeper bank is gonna work best, but you can still do laybacks on a ramp like this.
So step by step, we're going to approach the ramp in the snap position. Start twisting your body to wind up that snap. Get those upper, get the upper body ready to twist really hard. Throw your shoulders around. Start breaking into the slide by pushing your back leg out against your rail. As it starts sliding, you're going to lean back, starting to lay back. Get your hand extended out to catch yourself as you go down. Then as you start rolling down the ramp, you're using that back hand to push yourself back up into an upright position so you can roll away smooth. Last thing to highlight for you guys is that you could be pretty confident with trying these tricks. Even though they're quite difficult to master all of them, it's pretty low impact to test them out, to try them, especially on a flat ramp like this that isn't too steep. Um, usually if you do fall, it's as you're losing your momentum going up the ramp. So when you do fall, it tends to be more clumsy looking, not really huge impacts. That said, if you're just learning, padding up, wearing your helmet is always a good idea. Really hope you found these tips useful. Please let me know in the comments if you have any questions or if you're having trouble along the way. Guys, I just recently broke my camera filming for the channel. Um, so I'm gonna put it out there. If you found these tips useful and you're interested in chipping in to help find a replacement, I'm throwing up my buy me a coffee link below. I'm not gonna recommend the thanks feature through YouTube because YouTube takes half that revenue. So anything you can chip in will be helpful. Hope you guys found that helpful. Lots of practice is gonna be the key to getting them down. So start on the snaps, work your way up to the bird slides, and then practice those laybacks. Thanks for watching.